Hello, what's up guys? Today we have Samsung A02S water damaged. Customer bring the device and told me that the device dropped in the water. Let's remove the SIM card tray first. After that, we can remove the back housing from the frame. You can detaching using any plastic tool or you can use your fingernails. This back housing can be removed easily. There is no screws and there is no flex cable we can damage while we are going to remove the back. We can notice the water inside the back housing and the on the board. You can see the other on the left there is also water. I didn't know where the device dropped but there is no bad smell so I don't think it's on the toilet. Anyway, let's remove all the screws from the bracket shield at the top. After that, we are going to unplug that shield. We have much amount of water. I'm always mentioned to the old people when the device get in the water, I advise them to go to the nearest repair shop. While the water is still water, the device can be fixed more easy but when the water get boiled then the water will turn into corrosion and that corrosion will make short to the motherboard and don't put the device to the charging these two is the important thing to do always. You will see in that case that we are going to fix the device easily. Sometimes without even replacing anything. We have replaced something in this device but with a low cost. Our loss wasn't that cost. So we have to remove all the cameras. I just see in some area we have some corrosion. I'm going to remove this shield to see if there is any water get inside. And in the front shields we have holes. So that holes could, the water could leak into that holes. Anyway, let's get back to the board. I'm going now to remove the loudspeaker, remove all the screws. We are going to check the charging port. Also, we have something uh, that we can't see. It's the screen. The screen has some IC and some capacitors or components under the frame or the housing. So the water can leak to that place. That place we can't see unless we remove the screen. Anyway, I'm going to check that area to see the amount of the water get into there. We have uh, water at the flex cable connected to the charging sub, connected to the main board. So we have one flex cable came with the screen. That screen came connected to the sub board and the same flex cable connected to the main board connect the subboard to the screen so you just have one cable all right let's remove the subboard we are going to see the damage that may caused there i don't th think there is too much damage you can see the sticker the red sticker at the top and at the bottom so the water get reached to all the parts let's check that cable the cable is good the main board we just see corrosion at some point I'm going to put the main board into the cleanser alcohol machine ultrasonic cleanser to remove all the water that we can see that case is not going to be that difficult let's also clean every piece of the device including the cameras the air speaker the an antenna the flex cables everything you can get your hands into it all right 
Let's do that. After that, we can get to the main board while it's done in the ultrasonic cleanser. I'm not noticing any water or corrosion to these flex cables, but it's better to clean it. It's better. We can go through all every components. After that, we get back to the main board. Also, let's check the subboard. If the subboard is damaged, we can replace it. It's not that too much cost, but we trying to do our job to get every pieces working again. It shouldn't have to be damaged. It's look like new and nothing is being damaged onto it. So we will try our best. Clean also in the charging port. The charging port could be water get into it so you can clean all over that piece or also you can put it into the ultrasonic cleanser all right the board is out from the cleanser i'm going to blow it with that whatever it called i'm going to move or move the water from every components or nearby components and then I will use my brush to go all over the components. I don't think I need to remove all the shields in this area. These shields can't be removed with my hands, so we have to unsolder them. So we try. We try to get the phone working again to the power and see if the device will turn on or not also we don't know if the screen is still working or not the water can lead inside the LCD the files the files I mean the the paper inside and the LEDs the screen came with two layers two layers or maybe four layers of files I don't know why what they call them so the water can reach inside that and make the screen damaged so the screen uh, could be about 80% is damaged and 20% is still working so we don't know after we test now we are going to boil the alcohol to dry the alcohol now we just still putting the old LCD. I'm going now to power on the device. The device is vibrating and is turned on. We can see the screen, but the screen is not that good. And also the screen disappears. I tried too much time. The screen disappeared or the logo disappeared. I thought it's with the main board, but no, it's not with the main board. It was with the screen. The screen got damaged some way and we cannot fix it. Now I'm going to remove the screen. I told you I tried several times, get some alcohol into it, uh, dry it with the heating gun, trying different methods to get the screen working again, but with no luck for the customer. We always try to do our best to make the expensive or or make the cost very very low for the customer and not making it very expensive it's easy for me just to replace the components one by one the subboard the screen the hill speaker anything no we don't do that we try always to fix fix always fix after that we replace if we can't fix we replace here what we are doing we replace we fix the fix came in the first place we are just replacing it's a maintenance so it's a fix all right we have some corrosion onto that cables 
that cables could be damaged I don't think we can go over it and fix it so we are going to replace it we don't need to make any damage to the mainboard whatever we are going to do here it could make some damage to the mainboard okay you can see I will clean it and I will test but after we test it tested with no luck the screen or some components or either in the screen or the files I just mentioned before got damaged from the inside and I don't think this can be fixable so we will just replace it we'll, we will let the customer know about the cost we are going to do for now we need the screen we don't test any other components but we will put a new screen, test the device and we will let the customer know about the final price if we if he want to proceed with the repair we will repair the phone for him sometimes if the customer didn't want to fix his device all the work you can see it will goes for nothing here in my country no one cares about the job you are doing he told you you didn't fix the device so you don't need any money I don't know if that's true or that's right or that's false but we really took few hours to do that job also we use some materials like the alcohol that alcohol will be re recycled so we can't use it anymore because it has water in it anyway now we are going to put the screen the, sc the old screen is not working so let's put the new one after that we will test every component in the device while it's working and we'll see and plus every components need to need to be replaced and the cost and the final price I think uh, in my videos there is a video includes how to replace a new screen for the Samsung Galaxy A2 A02s yeah zero s so maybe you can skip all of that the all parts or the last video what I'm going to do is to test and then I will assemble so we were able to fix the device the device is functional again it's charging the camera is working the ear speaker is working the microphone is working I will go all over of that things I will not just leave anything also the Wi-Fi the antenna the cellular everything is working again so these all of these parts should be tested because I told you there is some shield in that shield there is some components relative to network to Wi-Fi so if we have something not working with the Wi-Fi, with the cellular, with anything, with the cameras even not working so it means there is some water or corrosion inside these shields so that after that so after that the shields should be removed and will be necessary to be removed for now we are just going to put the screen and we are going to test every components after that we will assemble and finish our job and that's it all right for now I think everything has been told if you think we didn't said or speak some information or we forgot something you can just ask it in the comments below also don't forget to support the channel with a like and subscribe these are matters for us even it will cost you nothing but these are very important anyway thank you for watching if you have any questions just leave it in the comments below we will answer it as we can see it thank you for watching and we will do something else in the next video peace
I just want to mention that we don't need to put too much adhesive into there and also near the air speaker and the camera the air speaker and the camera and also the sensor we have a sensor there so we don't need to go nearest the sensor all right be careful small amount all over the edges or all, all over the line and that's all after that we can remove the sticker from the screen put everything back and assemble all right 